Hey guys, going out on YouTube live. I had a very good question yesterday. I recorded a video, but uh, I had some streaming issues, so it didn't go through very well. But I think the thoughts were important for me to repeat them uh, because I had one of my investors reach out to me. And he said, hey, this certain property that we bought, uh, now the rents uh, seem to be coming down fairly fast. Want to know a little bit about what do you think? What about the rent situation? So this is very general, but it's well known in Dubai right now that rents have been coming down. So you, you generally know that the last five years, Dubai property prices have been correcting themselves, right? Generally what happens is in the real estate market, as prices, sale prices come down, rents follow suit, but they come a little bit further behind. So the rents have also been coming down for the last two, two and a half, three years, we're fairly down on where we were in 2014 and 15. Should you panic? Is this really something that you should be so concerned about? Now, here's the thing that I would like you to really think about uh, and understand the Dubai property dynamics, okay? The last time we saw rents really come crashing down, so they haven't crashed down right now, was in the global financial crisis, 2008, 9, 10. Now this is what happens, generally speaking, in the Dubai market. The people in studios move up the ladder to one bedrooms. The one bedrooms move up to two bedrooms, twos to three, and then three bedrooms move to townhouses and the ones in townhouses move to uh, villas or semi-detached villas. Now that's very logical. You could obviously understand that because rents then, you know, they still have the money, the same budget, and they can get more space for the amount of money that they're paying. What you might not know is also that Dubai is just one emirate in the entire United Arab Emirates. Dubai, generally speaking, is at the forefront in terms of business, in terms of a lot of people working here. So tons of people commute to Dubai, over a million plus people commute to Dubai from the neighboring Emirates, whether it's Sharjah, Ajman, people commute to Dubai from as far away as Omul Kuwain. That's one of the other Emirates. And then you've got Abu Dhabi as well, but we're not touching Abu Dhabi. What you need to understand is when rents come down, all these people who are working in Dubai but living in neighboring Emirates to skip the commute that they undertake every day of an hour plus, they generally move to Dubai. I saw this in the global, after, during the global financial crisis, I saw a lot of people from Sharjah, Ajman. So Ajman people move to Sharjah, Sharjah moves to Dubai, and I saw this. And as soon as they start moving in, and there's lateral movement in Dubai itself. And here's a third thing that I wanna mention, that don't forget that Dubai's brand is still out there, working hard to attract a lot of tourists, people to retire here, people to do business here, people to look for employment here, families who want to raise their kids in a very wholesome, uh, developed environment, very family friendly, right? So Dubai still has that going on. So as more people start coming in and the excess inventory starts getting absorbed, as people from Sharjah start moving to Dubai, I think it's gonna be a year and a half period where they're gonna start absorbing the inventory. And then how, and as we have lateral movement, within Dubai itself, rents will start, in my opinion, yeah, this is my opinion, they'll start going, reaching equilibrium, and then they'll start rising again. And this is nothing new. So the last time we had this issue of high rents in Dubai, understand this, like Dubai, 30% uh, of a household income used to go to rent. It's still, I think, 15 to 20%. I don't think it's less than that. It's still pretty high because there's not enough disposable income then to go around in other sectors of the economy. The last time this happened, because my father worked for Dubai Municipality, the government of Dubai for 27 years. He was an architect, he is an architect, engineer. And I grew and, I grew and I was born and raised in Dubai. So I know that the last time this happened was in the 80s when rents shot up, a lot of people could not afford to keep their families in Dubai, so they send them back home to India, Pakistan, so on and so forth. 
uh, His Highness Sheikh Rashid, who, is, uh, the, who's the, who was the father of the current ruler of Dubai, uh, he ordered uh, 20,000 plus apartments to be built in different areas of Dubai to accommodate these people so that they could keep their families here. So you gotta understand also, Dubai has always had this mindset of growing the pie bigger so that more people can benefit. And by keeping those families here, what ended up happening is those people used school services, shopping services, hospital services, uh, parks, etc., etc., etc. This is so the money keeps moving into the into the environment. But listen, I say to the investors, look, don't have a small heart, have a big heart. When rents come down, guess what happens? More people start getting attracted to Dubai. They want to live here. Don't forget that Dubai has spent billions of dollars in infrastructure. Dubai, whether you accept it or not, provides a very high standard of living to a lot of people. And a lot of people love living here. There's four billion people in a four hour flight within Dubai's reach. All these people in the region dream of coming and working in Dubai. Dubai helps fulfill your dream and Dubai still pushes you. So don't worry too much about rents coming down because it's real estate, it's cyclical. It's cyclical. Rents aren't gonna go crashing to zero. They're coming down, they're adjusting. They'll go back up. Sit, relax, and enjoy the ride. The more you worry, the more you track those kind of negative thoughts. It's not gonna be good for you. Relax, we'll reach equilibrium again, and rents will start going up again. Let your investment work for you. If you have followed basic, decent fundamentals of how to choose an appropriate real estate property, investment property, you're not going wrong. So just take chill pill, relax a little bit, and don't fret over things too much. I understand there's money involved. I worry as well. Don't forget, uh, in one of these videos I've actually shared, I lost uh, my first three property investments. I made 210% profit on the first one. I lost all my money on the second one. And on the third one, I didn't make any money and I didn't lose any money. So I've been there, done that, don't worry. Concentrate on the fundamentals and make sure you make the right decision when you're buying. You're in good stead. Catch you on the other side. Ciao.